welcome to another episode of cdc growthnomics today we are starting a new topic which is product analytics so um that's also a pretty deep field and you will see a lot of intersection of product analytics with uh, topics that we have already discussed which is uh, customer analytics uh, as well as experimentation experimentation gets used in product analytics quite a bit so uh, what is product analytics what is a good way to think about it one very good way to think about it is anything that sits between your customer and the dollar they spend with you is technically the product the customer uses your product and pays you for it in dollars i'm i'm, I'm using product very liberally product and services but basically think about product in a way that sits between your customer and dollars and product on analytics deals with all these things which basically improves the connection between your customer and the dollars they produce so how um, you know what are the different ways to think about product analytics one very important way and i'm going to talk about as we talk about product analytics we're going to talk about digital products because most of our our clients are dealing with um, digital products so and and let's take an example of um, a, a, a website which where you go in and uh, you know make your hotel booking so you know there is a search functionality here and uh, that gives you you know where you are looking for your like you know something like a bookings.com and um, you know there you know when you, once you've done a search you get various uh, sort of listings uh, and then there might be some micro call to actions and, and stuff here um, uh, that might exist anyway so so when you think of a product, I'm going to call this as a product, right? This this is my product, this website where people can come in and book their hotels and, and next accommodation is a product. And um, so, so what would product analytics entail? One of the first things that product analytics, you know, you can think of it in many different ways, but one of the first things uh, that product analytics and product um, entails is feature usage, UX, UI, which also includes journey. How is your customer? So, so features is like, um, you know, is your, are your customers using uh, these uh, top nav that you've given them or are they using your, you know, search functionality in a, in a good way? So that's one way of features are these different things which exist or widgets that exist in your product. Are your, how are your customers experiencing those features, those products from a UX, UI perspective? The other way to think about it is journey. Your customer clicks clicks onto one of the listings, goes to the listing pages, looks at the pictures of these, uh, you know, these rooms, looks at these features, and then there is a buy now button, and it becomes a journey once it goes into a flow where you're expecting them. Okay, they like it. They have added it to the cart and then and then what happens right so there's you know and then there's a payment success or whatever else so so think about so the two ways to think about ux ui one is the feature uh, feature analytics and then the other one is you know journey as you look at how your customers journey through these different features again optimizing it from ux ui perspective and then this is where i was talking you know this is where uh, you end up using a b testing quite a bit to improve your um, you know, improve your journeys, improve your 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 product. Uh, and in the same context, we also talk about how how do your cohorts process what kind of journeys do your cohorts have, uh, and can we track your cohorts over a period of long period of time? So we'll talk about uh, in detail in the next next time we are meeting. We'll talk about feature journey and cohorts together. So that's one part of product analytics cohorts meaning you know the, the ones and there are many ways of defining cohorts but like a jan cohort uh versus december cohort uh, those customers who came in and signed up in december versus january what happens to their their uh experiences what do they tend to use and not use and, and so on and so forth so that's when you look at product analytics that's one key area like that, that's looking at features journeys in the context of cohorts uh, or outside of it 
The other um, that you want to look deeply into that this is the way I think it's a broad area of focus is is called pricing analytics. Again, it's a very uh, very detailed subject, uh, and this is where you can uh, you can apply pricing analytics is an, another place where you will use A/B testing quite a bit. You would use potentially business analytics uh, as well as this. This is an opportunity to do use predictive analytics and advanced analytics. We haven't uh, done a detailed session on advanced analytics, but you know we'll we'll talk about it. But basically, the second area of focus is on uh, a second broad area uh, that product analytics covers is uh, pricing analytics and the third broad area at least the way i'm organizing it and it's not inclusive it's it, it covers the first two but but do you do you have a what i call product mom metrics that matter for product and do you have a, a proper understanding of what those kpis are down to your down to each of your product managers right your your product managers which are looking at each features or journeys or whatever however you're organized do they have their their proper uh, you know feature tracking journey tracking basically metrics that matter for these pms and do you have an understanding of uh, how you do instrumentation you know and and typical product metrics that at least in the digital world that you start with are DAOMA, your standard DAOMAs, daily active users, monthly active users. There are some cohort tracking, there's trending, uh, there's uh, feature uptakes, there's page load. There's a lot of, lot of metrics to be tracked. But what's important for you, metrics that matter for you. So these are the, um, I would say in product analytics is another wa vast area. But these are the broad areas that we want to cover in next coming sessions. Uh, but the most important part for you to know is anything that co connects your customers to the dollar, that that product experience, um, and it can be services as well, but we are mostly talking in the context of B2C because that's where they have the most data. How, how does how that process can be optimized so that the customers can be delighted, they can have more meaningful experiences uh, and their needs can be met with your product and you know you generate uh, greater profits and, and dollars as a result of it. So that's all for uh, product analytics. Um, we'll see you next time and we will deep dive into features and uh, cohorts as well as journeys.